guys, welcome back to Circle Time. Today is Tuesday. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you this special day? We're so glad you're here today. Hello, hello, how are you? I hope you guys are having a great week this week. Um, this week we are working on a new letter. Um, but before we get to that, let's do our counting, okay? All right, yesterday was the number eight. So let's see what number comes after eight. Do you know? Let's see if you do. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The number nine. Huh, did you say nine? I bet you did. All right, and let's do it in Spanish. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Good work. Um, before we go on to the next thing, I want to point out, you guys, um, remember, um, I added some things to our number chart up here, and there's little cards that have school buses and cards that have, let me show you, cards that have school buses like this and cards that have houses like this. So if there is a school bus behind the number, it means there's a video that I'm gonna do that day. If there is a house behind that number, it means there's no video that day, okay? So um, usually we have four days of videos, but this week, we have one day um, on Thursday when we're not going to have any videos. It's a special teacher work day, no videos. Um, and then next week on Monday and Tuesday, we have the same thing. There's a holiday on Monday, um, and then Tuesday is a teacher work day. Okay? Or no, teachers have that. I think I might have that day off too. What? Do we have Tuesday off? Yeah, I have both days off and so do you, all right? That's right. And so our, our packet and, and food deliveries will be on Wednesday next week instead of Tuesday, okay? So you won't get your packet until Wednesday next week, all right? Um, so yeah, let's, let's do the next thing. Um, la this week, we started a new letter, right? Um, and we talked about it lot yesterday, the letter I, the letter I, and the I makes the I sound. The I says I, the I says I, every letter makes the sound, the I says I, and it also says I, it says its name. So our poem talks about an iguana, and so there's a picture of an iguana there. Right? Let's look at some other letters or other things that start with I. We have the, there's the iguana again. What about this? What is that? Ice cream. Do you like to eat ice cream? I do. <laughs> this one was in our big poster yesterday. An, I, an igloo. Yeah, it's a little house made of ice. Oh, speaking of ice. We have a picture of ice. Yeah. And insects. Not bugs, insects. Yeah. And the iguana in our picture yesterday was on an island. Yeah. Good work. So, um, those are some things that start with I, right? Let's practice writing the letter I today, okay? This one is um, just straight lines again. Let me grab my pen. I forgot to grab my pen out of my bag. Um, so when we write the letter I, we're just gonna make three straight lines, okay? So we're gonna, oh, if you don't have your whiteboard or your paper, go ahead and pause the video, okay? And then come back and um, practice with us, okay? All right, so when we write the letter I, we're gonna go straight down, make a line, just a line straight down, 
and then we're going to put a top on the line and a bottom on the line, just like that. Yeah, just three lines, straight down, a, and a line on the top and a line on the bottom. I did that one backwards. <laughs> and when we write the little i, it's, it's just a straight down line and put a dot at the top, down and put a dot. Okay, you practice those eyes, and don't forget to have your grown-ups share pictures or videos of you practicing writing your letters. Um, and also, don't forget to keep practicing writing your name, okay? We sent home um, letter journal, or your name writing journals this week, so you'll have new strips to practice writing your names. And you can always practice writing your name on your whiteboard, or we sent home the name practice white, right, whiteboard also. So I hope you're still practicing on that. Um, I have, um, I wanna do a little poem thing with you, okay? Um, we did this in Zoom the other day, but we didn't have very many friends with us on our Zoom. Yeah, I hope you guys um, joined us today at our Zoom. Um, when we did it. Let me get, I'm going to go ahead and put my green board up here. My tacks are coming out. Oh, my whole thing is falling apart, you guys. <laughs> All right, this one is about shapes. So we have a yellow and the shape is a square. So it goes like this. Yellow square, yellow square, what do you see? I see a, what color is it? White, and the shape is a rectangle looking at me. White rectangle, white rectangle, what are, do you see? I see a, what color is it? Green heart looking at me. Green heart, green heart, what do you see? I see a, what color is it? Blue, and the shape is a circle. I see a blue circle looking at me. Blue circle, blue circle, what do you see? I see a, Black, what shape is it? Triangle looking at me. Black triangle, black triangle, what do you see? I see a, what color is it? Pink, a pink star looking at me. Pink star, pink star, what do you see? I see a, what color is it? Blue, and the shape is a diamond. I see a blue diamond looking at me. Oh, this one was hard in our Zoom. Blue diamond, blue diamond, what do you see? What color is it? Purple, and it's, what shape is it? Some of our friends said it looked like a banana. It does, doesn't it? This is called a crescent. A crescent, a purple crescent looking at me. Purple crescent, purple crescent, what do you see? I see a, what color? Orange oval looking at me. All right, that was some fun shapes there, okay? Um, and then the last thing I wanna do is read you a book. Okay, so this one is called The Biggest Snowman Ever. And I wanna read this because there's snow in the forecast. The weatherman is telling us that we might have snow this week. And I'm crossing my fingers because I would love to have some snow. Wouldn't you wanna play in some snow? I do. All right, so this book is by Stephen Knoll and it's illustrated by Janie Bassett. So Stephen, wrote the words, and Jenny wrote, drew the pictures. Okay, so let's look at this book. All right. Let's see. 
Once there were two mice who fell in love with the same snowman, and this is how it happened. What? On a bright winter day, the mayor of Mouseville announced the town snowman contest. Whoever makes the biggest snowman will win a prize. Um, he declared. All the mice were excited. The judging of the contest will take place in two weeks, said the mayor. Good luck to all of you. <clears throat> I'm going to make a really big snow princess, said Penelope. I'm going to make a really big Martian, said James. <clears throat> I'm going to make the biggest snowman ever, said Clayton, the house mouse. His friend Desmond, the, how the field mouse, frowned. No, you're not. I'm going to make the biggest snowman ever. Oh, yeah, said Clayton. Oh, yeah, said Desmond. That night, it snowed and snowed. Huge drifts covered driveways, roads, and fields. It was the perfect beginning for a snowman contest. In town... Penelope began her snow princess, and James began her, his snow martian. Out in the country, Clayton and Desmond began their snowmen. Clayton made a snowball and rolled it along the ground. The more he rolled it, the bigger it got. Before long, he had a large base for his snowman. Not far away, Desmond was doing the same thing. The next day, Clayton made a huge snowball for the snowman's belly. Not far away, Desmond did the same thing. That night, Clayton brought his dad out to see his snowman. Dad scratched his head. I don't know, son. It's going to be big, but I'm not sure it'll be the biggest. Clayton smiled at him. I'm just getting started, he said. Dad whispered in his ear, if you want to work faster, use a wheelbarrow to carry the snow. A little later, Desmond brought out his Uncle Vernon. I don't know, said Vernon. It's going to be big, but, I don't, but will it be the biggest? Desmond smiled. I'm just getting started, he said. Vernon whispered in his ear, if you want to work faster, use a wheelbarrow to carry the snow. So both of their grown-ups had the same idea, didn't they? The next day, Clayton filled his wheelbarrow with snow. He piled the snow onto the snowman. Then he rolled another snowball for the snowman's head. Not far away, Desmond did the same thing. A few days later, Desmond ran into town to look at James's snow martian and Penelope's snow princess. Hmm, he said, all the snow people are the same size. Hmm. That afternoon, Clayton made the same discovery. The next day, while working on his snowman, Clayton had an idea. He brushed the snow off his gloves and walked towards Desmond. At the same moment, Desmond had an idea, and he brushed the snow off his gloves and walked towards Clayton. They bumped into each other and fell down. I have an idea, said Clayton. I have an idea, said Desmond. We should do it together, said Clayton. No one said we couldn't, said Desmond. <clears throat> oh, I got a tickle in my throat, you guys. First, they rolled each part of Desmond's snowman over to the middle of the field. Then they rolled each part of Clayton's snowman over. They piled the snowballs on top of one another. Clayton dropped a floppy hat on the snowman's head, and Desmond added a long scarf 
huge coal eyes, and a giant carrot nose. When they were done, they had built the biggest snowman ever. The morning of the contest, field mice on snowmobiles brought the judges to the country. You both win the prize, said the mayor, handing Clayton and Desmond a large wedge of Swiss cheese. Let the celebration begin. Everyone gathered to dance around the snowman, drink hot chocolate, and eat donuts. We did it, said Clayton and Desmond, jumping up and down. We did it together. Awesome. It's always better to work with somebody when you're working on something, right? It's always better to have a friend help you. All right, you guys, that's circle time for today. I hope you had a you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again tomorrow, okay? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, you guys. <laughs>